the first thing we're going to need to do is get auto view. So you can go to autoview.com, click the get auto view button up in the top right corner. And we're going to be using the Chrome extension. So you go to the Chrome store, add it to Chrome. I already have it added and pinned to my toolbar. You can see it up here. Now we're going to log in. We're going to go to the subscription. This is where crypto.com, unlike the others, is free to use. So you just click subscribe. You're going to fill out your information here. You filled everything out. You can now confirm that you've got your subscription. The next thing we're going to have to do is add our API keys. So you're going to go into the extension. You can click it up where you favored it or pinned it up at the top. Scroll down to crypto.com section, click the account or add account button, head over to crypto.com. This is where you're going to select the API keys tab, create your new keys. You're going to use your authenticator, email, etc., to get your keys. Once you have them, you're going to head back over to out of you and paste them in where you can test your account upon a successful test. You can add these keys to your system. So auto view can now communicate with crypto.com on your behalf. We'll open our log and clear it. Now this is the syntax builder. We've got a few of them. There's one on the website. There's one within the extension. This is the easiest for a beginner as it runs through a bunch of questions for you to fill out. I recommend at bare minimum using it to find your symbol. Symbol normally matches the URL or it can be cut and paste from the website. However, this is directly connected to the API to ensure that you get the correct one. So we'll go through, answer a couple questions. We're just going to do a basic buy market order. We'll pick our available balance and we'll define how much of our balance will be. We'll punch 10% in here, but we will probably change these values and a couple things when we actually move over to the alerts. This is just to get you started with a basic command. So we're gonna go live without testing again. We're gonna add the D equals one when we create the alerts. Now we've got auto view all set up. We've got in our clipboard, the initial command. We're gonna shoot over the training view where we've got our Lux Elgo script. And we're going to click the create alert button. We're going to switch to the Lux Algo script. We're going to choose our conditions. In this case, we'll just use internal bullish once per bar close. This is where I'm going to change it just to a static 50, 50 CRO, so 50 coins. And we added D equals one. That's what's going to make this a debugging command. So we're going to do the, the opposite now for the cell. We're going to choose the script. We're going to choose the cell signal to match our, our long ones per bar. I like to, in this case, you just copy and drag and drop. It'll take that over so you don't have to ruin your clipboard, which means we're able to paste this, change our buy to a cell, and create that alert. We now get to fast forward things a little bit once we open our log. And we wait for an alert, which we actually got one already. So we can confirm here that we got a quantity of 50. It's a buy and it was at market. So I actually want to see the price here. We're going to change it from a market order to a limit just to give us a better idea of what's happening. We'll do the same on our sell trigger. And we'll go back to waiting until one of these fire. All right, here we got an alert. We can see the price this time, 0.18187 with a quantity of 50 on the buy side. We'll wait a couple seconds until we get another trigger here. And there it is, fast forwarded a little bit. So we've got a sell, same thing, quantity 50, this time a price of 0.18099. So what we should do now is we're gonna run through the alerts and we'll remove the D equals one so we can go to live testing. Okay, we can see we got an alert, so we'll check our order history. We could see a buy at 17904. Now we in theory just need we just got a sell. So we can confirm again in the order history. And there you have it. Fully automated system using Lug Algo and a free version of AutoView with crypto.com.